So this video is entitled, How do I know if I have a treeing walker coonhound? Yeah, that first word is treeing, T-R-E-E-I-N-G. So it's kind of a strange word, but that is his official breed name. So, but this video is very unofficial because I've never had Bruce DNA tested or, you know, really had any expert analysis, but I had an unofficial expert approach me, and this is one of my favorite Bruce stories. I was at a, a rest area in Ohio, and a guy comes running up to me and says, do you know what kind of dog you have? Do you know what kind of dog you have? And before I could answer him, he said, you have a tree and walker coonhound, and that one has the best markings of one I've ever seen in my life. So his unofficial expertise, which he told me, he then proceeded to tell me he had seven of them, told me some of the features that Bruce has that he rarely sees in a tree and walker coonhound that are so classic. One of those features is that he's tricolor. He's black, brown, and white. So um, another thing he said is that he has a perfect, what they call a saddle, which is this area here, um, which is, you know, goes down to the side and up his neck. So they call that a saddle. Another thing that he said, which is very unusual, are his freckles, which he said are called ticks. So all of these, and some are brown and some are black, and on his nose too, are ticks. Bruce is now seven years old, so he's starting to show a little bit of gray. So, um, but he said ticks are very desirable in his breed as well. The other thing he has, which is nearly perfect, is a white point on his tail. So his point here is for his breed, he chases a raccoon up a tree, and then he himself goes up the tree, which I believe is where the tree end comes from. And the, the point at the end shows the hunter where he's at and that he's found a raccoon, which is up the tree. So if you think you have a tree and walker coon hound and you don't know if it's a fox hound or some other sort of hound, tree and walker coon hounds have bigger ears, longer ears. Fox hounds, their, their ears will come to about here and they also have a wider jowl. So he, fox hounds are, have a narrower jowl, it's more pointed, and a coon hound will be a little bit wider and they're always very tuckered. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna do some other videos that show a fox hound in the background and then Bruce in the foreground so they'll show the differences also with a, a blue tick coon hound and a red bone coon hound and some of the other famous types of cow, hounds that look similar to a tree and walker coon hound. But this is a fairly classic tree and walker coon hound unofficially. And I took his leash off so you could see him. Um, but let's see if he'll stay there for two seconds while I shut the video off. And we'll see what happens. Stay.